Hey guys, how are we doing today? My name is Mark Shandonette and we're going to talk in this video today about how to start a construction company. Um, first of all, again, my name is Mark Shandonette and I have been a licensed contractor in the state of Michigan for 15 years now. Um, I've actually had a construction company for the past 14 years. Um, so I know a little bit about how to get things started and um, when you're first starting out, it can be a little bit difficult if you don't know the... Uh, you know the exact steps to take or the right research to do um, I know speaking personally um, <laughs> this would have somebody would have done this for me when I was first starting out it would have saved me a lot of time and aggravation and uh, probably a lot of difficult lessons learned um, the first thing that you need to do when you're if you're even thinking about starting a construction company the most important thing that you can have is obviously some sort of construction background some experience in the field is definitely going to be helpful um, when it comes time to uh, getting your license and um, we'll get into that in just a second here. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is have what's called a DBA and you can, uh, which stands for doing business as. Um, now you should be able to find this at any, uh, your local municipality that you live in, uh, your state's website. Um, like I said, I am here in Michigan, but I do know several other contractors slash builders in other states. And um, it seems to be, you know, I don't know about all 50 of them, but the, the people I do know outside of Michigan, the process seems to be in a nutshell about the same regardless of your location. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do is go to your, I recommend you go directly to your state's website and um, they should have like a licensing department within the state uh, government there and what they'll have there is an exact outline of exactly what you need to do in order to a get your license and b set up your entity properly um, you know so you can be uncle sam can get his his cut and you can uh, be established as a a tax uh, taxable business and everything else Another thing that DBA will do that I mentioned before is you're going to need that even to get a business um, checking account or bank account, anything of that nature. Um, the next thing is obviously is getting obtaining that actual license. Like I said, the web state website will definitely steer you in the right direction of what you need to do. I know in Michigan, in order to even um, consider getting your uh, your actual license you need to actually have an apprenticeship done underneath an, another licensed individual and it's uh, a couple hundred hours it's not too crazy but um, it is a prerequisite um, and then usually there are plenty of education programs that can basically prepare you and gear you up um, so you're going into that I don't recommend going and taking any sort of uh, licensing test with <laughs> Just blindly because you're probably gonna fail um, do some education and um, you're gonna like I said need to take the test to get your license you're gonna need to look into insurance requirements I know they're uh, in Michigan here they're they're quite steep and there's several different policies in place that you need in order to be covered properly and legally um, I know Florida and uh, California have obviously their, their own um, code issues with uh, hurricanes and earthquakes and things so their insurance requirements are pretty steep as well generally speaking in construction insurance is you're gonna find uh, not definitely not the cheapest part of the uh, the whole endeavor um, so basically get your DBA get your license know your insurance requirements and obviously um, you're gonna have to go buy some tools <laughs> you can't do construction without tools chances are you probably have a few uh, tools in your pouch by now if you're even thinking about starting a construction company. Um, me, myself, um, if this sounds you know like it's a little bit too daunting of a task, um, I actually got a little burnt out on construction after 14 years, so I made a change, I made shift in, uh, a little shift in career paths about two years ago. Um, I started a home-based business and that's how I'm sitting here right now on a Tuesday afternoon uh, <laughs> recording this video for you about how to start a construction company. Um, if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing in my home-based business, I'd be happy to share it with you. You can reach out to me anytime um, or visit uh, thesuccessblueprintonline.com. That's thesuccessblueprintonline.com. There's also a link below the video um, in the comment section. You can click on that. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're going to have uh, at least weekly videos coming out about um, 
just business related topics, um, advertising, so on and so forth. Um, my name is Mark Shandonette. Don't forget to check out that link and we will see you on the next video. Have a great day.